cari ragazzi, ce l'ho fatta. Guardate chi c'è. I'm here representing all the Italian fans. Okay, good. Of Super Tramp, but especially of Rick Davis. <laughs> okay, nice. I have Thank a you. passion for Rick Davis all right. and all his songs. Yes, I, I got sick yeah, three years know, ago, know, and so I didn't be I couldn't fly. I had to cancel the tour. We were yeah. going to tour, do a tour in Europe, uh -huh. and couldn't play it. And then for a year, I was pretty out of it. I couldn't do much, you know, okay. and I couldn't even sit at the keyboard for more than a mi half a minute. But you want? But then, as I well, of course. Of course. Then afterwards, I started to get a little better. I started playing in the studio downstairs and I knew Dave the drummer and uh, Mike, you know, bass. Yeah. I and they would come over and play with me, uh, you know, uh, which was very, it was very uh, uplifting and uh, helped me a lot. Okay. And then eventually we started to work up a little program, rhythm, blues, and uh, build a band. And then recently I was introduced to G.E. Smith, the guitar, and uh, Scott uh, Chrysler, I think his name is Chrysler, um, who filled out the band. So we have a nice little rhythm and blues band now, you know. Yeah. And uh, we're doing a couple of Super Tram numbers just for, you know, somebody for, who want, for may want to hear a couple of things, so, and that's all. You know. okay. so, Rick and the Rockets were the first band that you. No, Ricky, it was always a fictitious uh, name. You remember the album been indelibly stamped many oh, centuries ago. I have a t-shirt which says Ricky and the Rockets on it. Oh, okay. Which was actually an imaginary. But eventually, if we became Ricky and the Rockets, when on the bigger tours after the show, we would go to a club and procure the instruments of the local groups and play some rhythm and blues there after the show because we're all you know, pumped up after yeah. the show. And that's how that got started there with the band. Okay. And then uh, there we are. What's it? These are questions that uh, oh, it's Italian fans okay. uh, sent me. So the first one is, you wrote the song Art School Credentials. <laughs> that was wow. recorded by Don Harrison in 1977. Can you tell wow. us the story of this song? It, what is, it was born uh, as a super tramp song? Or, uh, and Which one we never, we never recorded. recorded. Never recorded never as a super tramp, no. We have a demo of it somewhere. Okay. Uh, it was just, um, what am I saying, somebody, you know, somebody who's an art, artistic sort of person thrown into the, the real world, you know, 
that type of thing. As I remember, I can't I remember. No, okay, that. okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought you recorded some, somewhere. Or... Yeah, I remember vaguely the, the song. Okay. But, uh, yeah. And uh, you started laughing is a B-side that never was released on CD. Yes, well, it was on a was live it? record. Okay, it was, was it on, uh, purposely omitted from the Ritzor Spectacle compilation because uh, maybe you didn't like it or any plan to release it? It probably didn't, it probably didn't fit CD. with the, the other tunes or something like that. Do you think to, you We used it a lot on live stage though. Yeah. We uh, would open uh, up with it quite a bit, uh, you know, because I always like to start quiet and build, you know. Okay. So. But do you have plans to release it on, in a future CD or something? No, like no. Well, we might actually do it with the rockets, actually. Okay. okay. Just because uh, if this works out well, then I'll be able to use this to play, you know, so, you know rather than go touring all over. Okay. Perfect. And then we can try different things all oh, the time. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. I would love it. Different <laughs> stuff, different things. Make you so hard. really different yeah you well that was before I started really finding my voice with Supertramp uh -huh. you know? I did sing when I had a little blues band in my local town you know it's called Rick's Blues and I did sing then but then when he started Supertramp uh, the thing was everybody liked it you know the bands like Spooky Tooth where they had two singers right or Traffic they had Dave Mason Steve Winwood yeah. You know, Spooky Tooth had uh, Gary Wright and Don Harrison, and um, you know they tended to like not being dependent on one singer. So we, that's what I was—I was trying to get my voice up to that. You know, so, so on the indelibly stamp, the next one, my voice started to come through a bit more. Why in the first Super Trump album you sang so little, and in in the little stamp instead you sang so much? Well, I, I, reason, maybe because the band I was in before Supertramp started, they wouldn't let me sing. Oh, wow. No, no, oh, really? No. <laughs> Just playing the, the, the keyboard. They didn't know I could sing and they didn't really... They wanted to sing themselves because they got all the girls if they sang. Uh. You know, so that, was, uh, that was pretty much it. And uh, uh, do you have unreleased songs that uh, maybe someday you want to complete and uh, record? Uh, unreleased songs you haven't released yet? Uh, not released songs? Uh, no, not many. No, not many. But I am doing rearrangements, and I, I'm, I'm interested oh, really? in doing uh, serious rearrangements. Of all But songs. I have to be working with these guys a bit more before that yeah. can happen. Okay. Okay. And yeah. um, any chance to see of Supertramp catalog in 5.1 surround audio? Uh, from uh, Andrea. Grasso. Yeah, we're going to look into. We did a, a live re uh, recording in. Carcassonne in uh, mm -hmm. France, yeah. in the castle, okay. and there's tapes somewhere, and I'm, I may have a look at those to see if we can make a show out of it. Oh, yeah, because they had a big, a lot of cameras. They had 13 cameras, and Absolutely. and uh, we got a very good deal. It didn't cost us much, but I haven't really looked at any of the tapes or listened to the okay. stuff. So okay. it's possible that it might come out as a. Um, Peace, you know. Do you have any comment about the Paris DVD release, which we we have heard that was done without your agreement? Which one? Uh, the, the DVD in Paris, the release of the DVD in Paris. DVD in Paris. You know the, the release. Oh, of, you mean from the, the album? A couple of years ago. They, they, yeah. They, yeah, that was without a, your agreement. Didn't I? Didn't think it was up to it. You know. Okay. Uh, so, but we, I, I was outvoted. I guess I don't know. Okay. I just. Uh, I thought it was inferior visually, um, so that's all that was. Thank you. 
do you feel more as a singer who plays a piano or as a pianist who sings? I know mm. the, the answer. Well, you do. But, <laughs> actually, I, I it's I know. very hard to. They're both very different. And I never thought of myself as a piano player because I always wanted to be a drummer. Ah, really? When I started as a kid. Ah. And when I started playing piano, it was purely for amusement. Okay. But I had a feel for the blues on the piano, so the local bands liked that more than the drums. So I got, I ended up playing piano, but I never really was taught properly or uh -huh. anything. So, you know, that was how that started. So, well, I have no ego on piano because I'm not a real classical pianist. I don't have a whole lot of technique and stuff. So I, I, I'm happy with it, you know. If you I'm say happy it, to I be, believe it. Yeah, 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 all right. Never say this. Yeah. No, no. And do you have a professionally filmed Super Tramp recent concert that you can release on the video? Release well, the that's video. exactly what I told you before. Ah, exactly. In Dr. Okay. Song. Okay. So it was a long time ago, but we haven't been out there, you know, because I, I couldn't do the tour. And, okay, okay. Uh, so I will be looking into that and see it might it might be okay. I mean, it's, uh, okay. we'll see. Maybe that, yeah. And the last one is my, my question. Oh. My question. Another man's woman. Yeah. A real master for me. Yeah. Uh, this is the only song that you um, improvise and change a bit in every mm. concert. 11 minutes, 9 minutes, right. 5 minutes. Strange that it's mm. the only song that you change for a blues and jets music. Yeah, it you goes are. through phases. So, you know, sometimes I'll play up the same for a while and then I'll add another bit. Or It's not exactly improvised. There's, there no, are, there are, improvised there are set pieces but you know it's grown over the years it it's grew fantastic over the years. Yeah, yeah, for me yeah, it's yeah, really yeah. Okay. Oh, that's great. and uh, I don't know how he used to sit under the umbrella under the, uh, yeah. you know on stage remember that yeah, oh, yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> Four tickets in my pocket. Oh. Amsterdam, Paris, Milan, yeah. and London oh. for 2015. Oh yeah, and never, never. Used I know. Well, I'm sorry. Do you think you will one day? I don't to restart no, no, no. with this concert. Yeah, or not? I don't know about Super Tramp. I mean, okay. I'm probably going to be here. Okay, that doesn't matter. <laughs> Super Tramp. If you see, yeah, if you yeah, if yeah. you play music, I might, for I me, will. Okay. I will be playing some of the songs. Okay. You know, the important that you play yeah, in yeah. with the blues stuff. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's about it. Rick, thank you. Thank you for fans, Italian right. fans. If you want to say ciao to Italy, because Italy. Thank you. you. Uh, yeah. Uh, so much. Thank you all, you great fans in Italy. And Alma Radio, my. Radio. Yeah, on the radio. Okay. Ciao, Rick. <laughs>